What's up guys, welcome to Top Home for you. Um, as you can see, I've got the MacPad Pro with the Google Play Store uh, installed and everything is working fine. However, it's running on the older firmware. So uh, in today's video, I'm gonna show you what happened when you decided to uh, update your firmware to the latest one. Uh, will uh, Google Play Store work, still work or uh, will it stop working? stick with me and uh, we shall find out at the end of the video what happened now as you can see it's running the uh, version 10177 uh, dated april 2020 that's why i managed to install uh, the google play store um, feel free to check my uh, other video i'll leave a link in the description below uh, how you can install the uh, play store if your tablet is running an older firmware if your firmware is dated after june 2020 you have no option and to uh, install google services on the tablet so uh, unless you downgrade it to an older firmware so uh, um, I've done uh, another video as well showing you how you can make the most of your tablet or phone without the Google services and install uh, uh, some apps uh, including uh, Google Map, uh, Google Classroom and uh, Google Meeting. Some of the Google services uh, will work but not all of them. So let's go on to the settings and uh, start the updates. Um, as you can see there, it's already showing one update available. And then tap on the newer version, 10, the newer version 10.10.120. And then install. Uh, the tablet is uh, now uh, back on, so I'm just going to do finish. And then let's uh, go on to the settings. There you go, so you can see the tablet is now on the latest version. As you can see there, so uh, Google uh, is still working fine, no errors, eBay, and everything seems to work fine. Um, let's find YouTube and try it. There is a new one, um, 10.10.180. I'm just gonna download it and see what happened. So uh, I'll pause the video, it's quite a big file and uh, I'll get back once it's uh, finished downloading. Okay, so uh, it's on 50%, 53% now. So let's check uh, the change log and see what uh, changing so the previous updates and um, the security patch was an updated so and google service was working fine so we'll find out once uh, we update to uh, this version what happened because the security patch is going to change to the september release so which will be after june 2020 and uh, it has some changes regarding the keyboard typing uh, improvement and uh, the display um, and in, including the petal search widget and so, so you can use it to uh, search for app not available on the uh, the Huawei gallery 
So uh, let's wait and see once it's finished. So at the moment we are on 10.10.120. So uh, I'll get back as soon as that download is finished. It's about 4.67 gig. Stick with us and uh, we shall find out. Okay, so uh, that has now uh, completed downloading. Uh, I'm just gonna proceed uh, and the installation. So now. Okay, now we're, we're back on, so we're uh, to add the widget. Let's uh, check to make sure the, the update has gone through fine. So as you can see there, it's now running the latest one, 10.1.0.1.80. If you go on to uh, about, so the security patch is dated 1st of September 2020 and the kernel version October. So uh, moment of truth now, let's find out about Google services. Oh, there you go. And so uh, I'm just going to try and install an app. Okay, that has installed fine. As you can see, no errors coming up. Uh, Google services uh, seems to be working as it should. Let's have a look at YouTube. Yes, YouTube is working. So uh, everything seems to be working fine after the updates so uh, and uh, this is the latest one 10.10.180 version as you could see from uh, the older firmware once you update uh, once you install the play store and then uh, install uh, the latest firmware google play services uh, still works fine so the only thing it won't work it once you do a factory reset and trying to reinstall play store uh, it won't work, it won't let you install LZ Play. That's the only problem you're gonna have if you have the latest version. Yes, uh, that's it from me. Thank you for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and enable notification for my latest video. Take care and keep safe. I'll see you on the next one.